Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2017 Subaru Forester, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Helium Platform Style Bike Rack. So the rack that we have here today can hold up to a total of two bikes, but there's also a one bike version available as well. So a lot of these platform style racks can be loaded up with bikes and folded downward to gain access to your hatch. And that is the case with this one as well. The only difference being is it's gonna be much more manageable. So the rack's made from aluminum, really lightweight, easy to fold up and down. And the way we fold it down is just a handle right here. You're gonna push that in, it'll tilt down. You're not gonna to have to try to deal with any foot pedals or reach through and mess around with any pen and clips. This one, you don't even have to think about it. And what I found too, is you can actually use the wheel hook almost as a second handle to have a little bit more control. You pull that in, let it come down. Then we're gonna have more than enough room to be able to open up our hatch and get anything we might need in and out of the back of our Forester. With that being said, there's a couple of really neat things about this rack that really separates it from many of the others. And probably one of my favorite things is going to be these wheel hooks here. So we're gonna have a wheel hook on each tire, which is gonna keep the bike really secure. In my opinion, it beats having one wheel hook in the front and a strap or something like that in the back. And this is really gonna be ideal, especially for those of you that have a carbon fiber bike. You won't have any frame contact, you're not gonna to have to worry about potentially any damage occurring. With the wheel hooks, you're gonna be safe. Now, a lot of times with these two bike platform racks, what can happen is when you go to load them up, since they sit relatively close to each other, your handlebars can actually interfere with your seat and make everything just kind of tricky to sit how you want it. The cool thing is though, this is somewhat adjustable. So these wheel hooks can actually go back and forth to push them forward, they just have positive locks, pull them back just this little lever, so it's super easy. But what we're actually able to do is push our bike or offset our bike further to one side. And now that it's offset, we can offset the second one facing the other way a little more towards this end, and we're gonna have more than enough room that way our bikes won't interfere with each other. Now that we kind of seen our rack in action with our bike on it, let's go ahead and take it off and have a better look at the rack itself. So, kind of talked about this a little bit. The squeeze the handles. These actually fold almost completely flat, give us a ton of room. Now, something you do need to pay attention to, once you undo these wheel hooks, there's not gonna be anything supporting the bike. So, you wanna make sure you have a grip on it. Fold these down. Then ton of room here to grab our bike and set it off to the side. Whenever we're not carrying our bikes around, it's a good idea just to put these down flat. That's gonna keep them safe and everything a little more compact. Now something that's pretty cool too, a nice little feature, is that each tray is going to have a integrated lock. That way when you have your bike in place, you can wrap this around the frame and secure it. That way, whenever you stop at the gas station or maybe stop at a restaurant on the way to or from the trails, you're not gonna have to constantly peek outside to make sure your bikes are safe. So whenever we do have our bikes on the rack, you're gonna have it in this position. And something you gotta have to keep in mind is it's gonna extend the overall length of our Forester. So if we just see exactly how much, we'll go from our bumper to the very edge of the rack. It's gonna be about 28 inches. So although that's not a ton of space that's taken up, it's still something to be mindful of, especially if you pull into your garage or a tight spot. A cool thing is, whenever you are just cruising around town and you're not carrying your bikes, you can't actually fold this up into the stored position. And this is really gonna free up a lot of space. So if we go from the hatch here to the very edge of the rack, that's only going to be about 13 inches. So this position definitely won't give you any issues in your garage or that tight spot. 
So if you move down here, one of the things I really like about this rack, and I kind of mentioned it earlier with the pin and clips and everything, this is going to come included with this built-in hitch pin. So that's kind of one thing that separates us from some of the other racks is everything is built into itself. So there's no parts and pieces you need to keep track of. That's a big benefit. It is going to work with two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Forester, but it's also going to be able to work with those smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter hitches. So if you have another vehicle in the household, chances are pretty good this will work with it too. If you move back here to this knob, what this is gonna do, you tighten this down and it's going to act as a anti-rattle device. And it's also going to have a lock in it so whenever you leave this on the back of your Subaru, you can lock this down and no one will be able to remove the rack unless you have the included key. But how that anti-rattle works is it eliminates any slop or play in the connection point where you put the rack into the hitch and it's gonna keep a quieter ride on the inside of your Subaru as well as a little bit more of a smooth ride for your bikes. So kind of give you an example, say we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see this is gonna move with our Forester and not on its own. But at the end of the day, a really awesome bike rack. It's gonna look really good and stylish, especially if you plan on leaving it on, which I don't really see why you would take it off unless you plan on using another accessory. And it's gonna be super functional. No extra pieces to keep track of or anything like that. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium platform style bike rack on our 2017 Subaru Forester.